Hello everybody, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. So the long-awaited Training Island and stat update has just released. New Island, Training Island, do various activities here to train your horse's stat earn training receipts, and take them to Steven for unique rewards including two new horses. You can manually train your horses above their natural stat cap, plus five for purebred horses and three plus for non-purebred horses. Two new horse coats, Rose Gray and Palomino Reverse Dapple, only obtainable from Steven with training receipts. Both come on all breeds and are not breedable. Two new stats, Agility, determines how quickly your horse can turn and how fast they can run down hills. And Jump, determines how high your horse jumps. The strength stat no longer affects jump height, it now determines how fast your horse runs up hills and in water, as well as how fast they can pull vehicles. Horse breed stat ranges have been adjusted to allow the new stats to fit in nicely. The 2 times Animal XP Game Pass has been turned into the Expert Trainer Game Pass, and all previous owners will receive the new rewards plus much, much more. And then there's a little picture of Training Island up there. So you guys, Training Update has just come out, and also the first thing that I have noticed is um, on the side here, you can see that they remodeled all of the stuff over here, so the little stat bar, so they made brand new logos which are absolutely adorable and I love those. You can also see how many foals your horse bred, their favorite food, their purebred stuff, the um, mains that they have, the all their stats and stuff, and you know, all this wonderfulness. And without further delay, let's check out Training Island. Okay, so there is a new island over here in between um, Roleplay Island and Royal Island, and it reads Trading Island. So let's check that out. And there's also two new horse breeds that you can obtain for training horses. Okay, it says, Welcome to Training Island. Steven the horse trainer has opened up his personal island for everyone to come and train their horses here. Visit the arenas and select your desired layout using the big sign. Then, use flags to start the training activity. Every time you hit a checkpoint, your horse's training progress will get higher and eventually level up. Each time you finish or loop through an activity, you will earn some training receipts. Bring these to Steven for a reward. He has special accessories, hair dyes, and even horses. Different activities and train different stats. Head over to the log and tire pulling area to train your strength and stamina. Make sure to thank Steven for opening up his personal training island for all to use. You can always pay him tokens to train your horses for you if you aren't feeling like doing it yourself. Okay, you guys, and on Training Island, here at the bottom, you can see all of the brand new stats and logos and how much you can improve them by. So, that's neat. Let's check out Training Island here. I don't even know where to even start. There's This is like a whole new island. Let me check the map. Okay, so it looks like they have an outdoor arena, indoor arena, the trainer, log pulling and tire, the trader, a racetrack, and then just a bunch of land and roaming space. And I'm sure there's other stuff that you can do. Um, looks like there's something over here. Not quite sure what. And, but first off, since the indoor arena is right here, we're going to go ahead and check that out. So, current layout. Okay, so you can change the layout of the arena that you want to do based on what stats you want to train. So, let's go ahead and see what there is. Whoa, there is a lot of different stuff. Okay, let's see. Oh, single stake. It looks like it put some cones there. Let's see. Oh, so there's just a whole bunch of different stuff that you can do. Whoa, this stuff is cool. Okay, so there's a bunch of different layouts and types that will train different items. So, yeah, I'm assuming sing this is speed. Let me see. Okay. Oh, agility. Oh, wait, no, jump stat. <laughs> How high your horse can jump. Okay, so these, okay, so there's a bunch of different logos, and I think I'm going to do the pole bending to try and level up one of these new ones, and let's begin this activity to see. Oh, so it gives me these green little arrows on what direction to go here. We'll, we'll take it a bit slow since we're new at this and don't really know quite how to do it. 
Okay, so basically you just have to follow this. Um, here, let's go. Gosh, sometimes my horse goes a little too fast. Slow down a bit, meringue. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, and we missed that one. And she's energetic as well, so sometimes she'll just randomly speed up as we're doing this. Oh, we leveled up. It gives you a cool little animation on the side and tells you that you leveled up. That is neat. Okay, and back to the start or finish or whatever it is. Oh, and we got four training receipts. Okay, earned by completing activities on Training Island. Steven, the horse trainer, will give you a reward for some of these. So I'm assuming that you would probably need five horse receipts. And we currently have four, so I'm going to do another one of these activities. Um, and we're going to train the um, jump stat, which is another new stat. So we're going to do some show jumping over here. This looks fun. And there we go. So I guess whenever you finish an activity, it'll give you some training receipts. Okay, so it shows up in your resources. I currently have 12. So it gives you different amounts of training receipts based on how many um, little, those little glowy thingies um, you go through. So we're going to go visit Steven now um, as something to do next. Yeah, we're going to quit this activity there. And where do we go? Okay, I'm assuming it's at the trainer. So we're going to head over there. Oh, and there's also an outdoor arena. Let me just check that out real quick and see what it is. Okay, and basically, it's the same things, just outdoors, it looks like. Yeah, this looks like the same stuff. So, they have an indoor and outdoor arena. Okay, here is Steven over here with his classic truck. It looks like he has a blue one here on Training Island. I will also check out the mainland to see if he is still on the mainland. Let's go ahead and talk. So he can still train your horse as usual. We could level up Meringue's stats, she's, um, agility, and jump one since she's already maxed on everything else. And she seems pretty good with um, how high she, we can train her. And let's give him training receipts. A hundred at a time and he'll give you something. Okay, um, I you guys, I thought it was going to be like five that we had to train in. Um, turns out it's going to be a hundred. Let's see how we can get training receipts. You can get them by completing activities on Training Island. And bring him a hundred and he'll give you a reward. Okay, so that's going to take a little bit. Um, let's check out some more. Okay, so it looks like over here is the racetrack and stuff oh let's see the next update oh the next update's gonna be the spring event that's gonna be fun oh goodness what happened here oh we're stuck okay here we are i wonder if we can do like a race <gasps> you can you can race you can like change the layout okay so you can do the standard racetrack which is this the steeplechase where you can jump over the hedges over there or whatever they are i'm not i don't ride in real life so i'm not really sure what these are called and then an obstacle course whoa this one has a lot of different stuff that you can ride through interesting interesting i think i'll run through this because it looks pretty cool Okay, I actually feel a bit of tension when I'm riding in the water. Um, probably has to do with that stat. So yeah, when I'm in the water, I actually run slower than I do when I'm on the land, which is a really cool feature that they added and stuff. It is quite easy to earn these training receipts, so you should be able to get the item soon. Um, and I think that, okay, let's actually head out and check out the, um, log pulling over here. And then, oh, it looks like there's a bunch of, um, races over here that you can do. That's cool. And there's wind turbines. That's awesome. Getting that renewable energy. Where am I going? I just went the wrong direction. Okay, so the log and tire pulling is over here. Okay, let's see. 
All right, so it looks like we can just begin an activity where you pull an object and then the tire has a bit of tension and slows you down a little bit as you're going and it will train your strength stat so then you can run faster up and down hills and in water so that is what that strength stat is i believe This does take a while though, even though there's only like 10 that I have to do. This is like taking me ages to get through it all. Oh, and it's an eclipse tonight. That's cool. I already have an eclipse aura though, so I don't really need another one. If you don't know how to get auras, make sure to go check out my moon aura activity because you can get whatever the moon phase is as an aura behind your horse. So make sure to check that out. And one more for the tire pole. And then we'll check out that other thing that was on the map which i believe was steven's place so we'll check that out yay we finished oh we got 17 training receipts okay we're already at 34 training receipts that is actually really awesome so let's check out this area oh it looks like this is like steven's place and he has some horses in a pasture over here let's see oh these must be the limited ones that you can get oh my gosh stop okay so he has a fjord and we also have oh, this is such a beautiful frisian he has a frisian named bolt that is beautiful i literally i love this coat and if you are able to obtain this coat by training in your um training receipts it will be unbreedable so you can't breed it sadly and then over here we have rockstar this is oh my gosh these two new coats are be absolutely just beautiful and you are able to get them on any breed so if you want them on another breed you'll just have to keep training trading in um training receipts and stuff um which is probably why you can't breed them is you have to obtain them and you can obtain them on any um breed of horse so that's cool oh he has a little garden back here oh we just trampled your flowers sorry about that steven and let's see over here. Oh, he has a motorcycle. Who knew Steven rode motorcycles? And then he has his different colored cars for the seasons and stuff. Cool, cool. And then his house. Can we go in it? No, of course not. I think a really cool feature that they could add is like being able to like go inside houses and stuff. Oh, and these are the stalls for his um horses so that is super duper cool okay you guys real quick i am just going to um train my horse and get a bunch of training vouchers and then i will meet you guys back so then i can trade them in and show you what i get from trading in some training vouchers so i'll be right back in like five seconds so forgot to mention in these different activities for example show jumping it can level up multiple different types of stats for example the show jumping levels up the jump stat the um, agility stat and the stamina stat all right we are back we have a hundred of the training receipts so we're gonna go ahead and send them in to steven here and let's see what do we get oh we got a mouth dumbbell okay so it looks like you can get training related items from steven so meringue now has this very neat neon um little um mouth dumbbell so she is strong everyone knows that she is strong when she wears this right here look at that look at meringue and yeah i think that pretty much wraps up this wild horse island video of the training update i will make some more of me trading in some training receipts i think i'm gonna work on uh collecting a bunch of those and hopefully get the videos out for you guys either by tomorrow or the next day or the day after i'm not really sure whenever i get around to doing it um but yeah that is the training island update thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye!